So you're here for some last minute tips for GCSE Maths Paper 3. This is the last paper and I'm going to tell you some things specific to this paper that will help you a lot in making sure you know what to prioritize for this exam because now it's a case of trying to predict the remaining topics left because we've already had two full papers on this already so now we can get a bit of an idea of what might come up in this third one so let's just get straight into it. Now my one main piece of advice specific to this paper is to now try and find prediction videos of people trying to predict what questions can come up in this paper. Obviously don't take them for a 100% anything can still come up technically but any big questions that have come up in paper one or two they're very unlikely to come up again in this third paper as a full big question so I'll leave some links down below of some videos that I found of people making like best guesses for what this third paper is going to be this is good practice as well just because you're watching someone go through different questions what you want to do is you want to try and attempt the question before they do it and then see if they did the same method as you and just do this with as many of these different videos as you can find a lot of them are quite long so if they do a topic that you know you're familiar with don't sit there and watch through it there's no point sitting there watching them do like lowest common multiple highest common factor that kind of thing if you know that you're good with it so some stuff if you know it just skip over it but any big questions that you come across that people are doing try and attempt them yourself see if you can do them and see if they managed to do it the way you did it so that should be the main thing you're doing right now that's what I would recommend this is what I did when I was revising for this exam as well because now we can kind of make a prediction and what things can come up so obviously I haven't done the first two papers so I'm not very familiar with what topics came up in those but as someone who's done them you're going to be in a better stage than me knowing what could potentially come up in this third paper so I'm just looking at some things that other people are saying a lot of people are saying questions like Venn diagrams are probably going to come up in this one stuff on quadratic sequences circle theorems there's a lot of things here that haven't apparently come up that much in previous papers obviously I don't know I haven't done the papers but this is something that you can try and look at yourself try and see videos of other people doing these kind of questions and try and practice them that's my main piece of advice for you to do that's what I want you to do when you're sitting there literally like morning before your exam I want you to be watching these videos going along through them trying to see if you're able to do those questions that I think is the most effective thing you can do right now now if you are still at a stage where there's some topics that you aren't the best with or you still want to be like good enough with as many topics as possible first what I recommended back in my paper 2 video which I'm also going to recommend for this video as well is the exam genie list of topics where they group everything based on the grade that you want so if you're only looking for a pass you can look at all the different topics that you should be really familiar with for the past but if you're looking more for a grade 8 or 9 then there's other topics that are more difficult that require a bit more practice that it also has in that website so I'm going to leave a link to that down below in the description as well on top of some other resources that I managed to find I'll leave them all down below in the description but I'm not going to waffle that's literally all I can say for this paper you've already sat through two whole papers of this the third one isn't going to be very different a lot of people always ask me what's the difference between paper two and three is the topic distribution different in the two papers anything can still come up paper two and paper three are identical papers there's no difference in the way they ask questions it's simply the fact that they can't shove everything into one paper that they have to distribute it over two that means that the stuff that have come up in paper two and paper one those things are probably not going to repeat in the third paper so if you're looking at prioritizing what things to focus on try and look at the topic list one by one and think to yourself did I get a question on this if you've got a really small question on it you're probably likely to get another question on it again but if you had a big chunky question on one of the topics from the previous papers you're very very unlikely to get another big question on it again or maybe at most you might just get like a one mark question on it or two marks something like that but I want you to go over that topic list and just check one by one every single topic and just make a note to yourself the ones that just haven't come up at all because if they're nowhere to be found in the previous papers that you've done then that's a very high likelihood that they're going to come up in this paper and so now you know what to revise you know what you can do more questions on and yeah that's literally it I don't want to waste your time that's all I have to say so apart from that just good luck just watch those videos do those practice questions and you'll be fine and remember that after this paper you're done with maths unless you're like a further maths student or something and you have the further maths exams but a lot of you guys are probably going to be done after this so that's good so I just want to say good luck again and I'll see you guys very soon.